Own people out in the field who work with peyote have never been mescaline as a control. Just the comparison of a cactus and the major component of the cactus would be a fabulous clinical study as yet undone. It should be done. Okay, this, this top one, helenamine, uh, is found in six different cactus species. Uh, it's never been found in a poppy. If you take away and begin hydrogenating the ring on the right with the, the points without the double bonds, you can put one or two double bonds in there. You get dihydroisoquinolins or just isoquinolins. Uh, there are a number of these known, and you go up to about 12 different cactus species in which those are found. Not one of them is found in a poppy. It, so they're all cactus. The next one, the N-methyl heliamine, is known in six uh, cactus species. By the way, it's rather a potent monamine oxidase inhibitor. The cacti, and I'm bringing this point in a little later, are loaded with monamine oxidase inhibitors, which it brings in the smell of what will be eventually kind of an ayahuasca direction. Uh, it is known in a number of, uh, of uh, cactus, but never in a poppy. Interestingly enough, for those who are in the analytical game, this particular compound, the methyl group there, in certain forms of analysis, certain types of mass spec analysis, comes up with this compound with a methyl group down here, namely that methyl group moves from there to there in the course of analysis. So you have to be a little careful and some of the literature statements of what are in these poppies may be faulted by this, this internal rearrangement that is chemically bizarre and has never been studied but has been mentioned by two people and I suspect is to be respected. Salsalidine is the same world dimethoxy, both the methyl group down here. This is an interesting material. It's found, by the way, in six different cacti and has never been found in a, uh, in a poppy. But these little groups in here, uh, if you take these groups off, you have a material that is a dihydroxy, salsalinol, which is a dihydroxy methyl H. This is a material that comes from dopamine. If you look at that dihydroxy in the amine group, dihydroxy in the amine group, it is dopamine. And if you put acetaldehyde in down here, you get that methyl group. This material has been found in chronic alcoholics as a material that is present in various parts of the body. Maybe uh, the alcohol oxidized acetaldehyde that's captured by dopamine. Dopamine, however, has also been used in the treatment of, of various things like Parkinsonism. And that people who are Parkinsonism positive and have this material, have this compound dihydroxy, it's called salsalinol or sal in the, in the medical slang. Uh, as a major component in their brain, different parts of the brain, if you find and put that in the brain of an animal, the animal becomes Parkinson-like in its behavior. So again, you have a very interesting, this would be an example of an alkaloid that's found in mammals and found in man, but is tied in with either alcohol, acetaldehyde, or dopamine, dopamine being natural, but dopamine also being given as a, uh, uh, the hydroxydopa or dopa itself as a treatment for Parkinsonism. So again, this is a, a tie in together. I don't know what, how it's all going to fit, but this, this material is found in the, in, the, in the mammalian world. The compound carnagene down at the bottom, or pectinine, has a various number of names, uh, is again found in three different cacti, never found in poppies. One thing the poppy can do, it can put stuff down here. It sometimes does and sometimes doesn't. There we go, it does. Instead of this methyl group, you put big benzyl groups. You put uh, uh, isofuranol groups or things down in that area. These are made in buckets by the poppy world. The cactus doesn't know how to put a big thing down there. The poppy doesn't know how to get there without putting a big thing down there. So just that one little spot, that, that, that one little group down there, the methyl is cactus, big stuff down there, like a benzyl, is poppy, and no overlap. This to me is totally fascinating. This, this left-hand side is, a, in essence, a cactus world. Now, on the other side, methane doxies, you say, well, gee, obviously these are all from plant sources. But interestingly enough, the uh, first of these, I call it MDHH4 because it's methane doxy and has hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen, and it's an arbitrary, these will change, these are unpronounceable. Uh, it's not, not found in any plant. It does not exist in any plant. The second one, the uh, hydrohydrastinine is found not in poppies, but is found as a product of the workup of poppies. It can be generated by, uh, synthetically from certain poppy alkaloids, but again, usually with something big hanging down that, in the lower one position that is dropped off. But it is on the edge of being natural, and it is on the edge of being in the poppy world. The last two over here, with a methyl H, uh, MH, and MM, are not known in any plant at all. The methyldoxy is not a stranger to the, to the peyote plant. 
but the peyote plant or the other cacti put it in this position. It knows how to put a methylene doxy group into a tetraisoquinoline, but it doesn't know how to get it in the five, in the six, seven position. It only gets in the seven, eight position. So the machinery is there in the, in the cactus. It's just misapplied in some way. If you apply it correctly, in my opinion, and get these kind of things, you have materials that don't occur in any plant source. So this is, this is exactly where I am. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm beginning to explore it. Uh, some isomers of carnagene, uh, of salsalidine, are pretty good monamine oxidase inhibitors. Uh, I, not, not up to the harmine harmaline area by a factor of perhaps 40, but they are there, and I think structural variations of them might indeed bring them into, into some type, sort of understanding. What I want to do, I want to, I'm going to make, finish completing, synthesizing all these routes. These last two over here have only been in the literature two or three times uh, as chemical intermediates for something. Never been looked for, never been found anyway in plants. These are totally strange. So I want to get these eight compounds, and I've already made arrangements to do the work, and combine, and not combine, but add to that collection of eight a sample of harmine and harmaline, and let the ten of those go, this is one of my major projects right now, into analysis for monamine oxidase inhibition. Are any of those inhibitors? I know some already are. How do they compare with harmine and harmaline, which are more or less the standards in the psychedelic industry? How do they compare? And when you find this and this and maybe that, might be very interest. And then I want to take off the hydrogens, make them dihydrous, make them aromatic, make them with N-methyls, make them with different substituents, but take the most interesting and expand from those until you get a new collection of, of activity. Take the most interesting and expand from that until you get yet a newer collection of activity. Keep moving all the time from the most interesting leads to where it might go. Don't try to predict where it's going to go. Just learn from how it goes. I mentioned the um, and how there's anhalamine, anhalanine, anhalanidine, uh, peyotine, lofoferine. These are all alkaloids from the cactus world. They're not just in peyote. They're in many cacti. Probably the five or six with the uh, uh, peyo prefix and with a lofo prefix, which are named from the peyote plant, are found in perhaps 20 or 25 cactus species. They're very widely distributed in nature. But none of these uh, dimethoxyhydroxy or Primethoxy tetrahydroisoquinolins has ever been reported in any other plant than a cactus. As I mentioned, the ones of the methylene doxy down in that bottom position are in the cactus and in other, other plants. You find them in a variety of other uh, 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 genera, in fact, in other families, but not, not in the cactus. So, with that in mind, there's one other point. I, I should have brought, I didn't even know when I start, started, so I went up where time it is now, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, I have one last of this, that one last is always a nice thing when people are in the audience wondering when this is going to end. My last <laughs> uh, slide brings up one other point that compares poppies in some ways and cacti. Top is ah, dimethoxy phenethylamine with an NN dimethyl. This is very, very frequently encountered in the, uh, in the, cac in the cactus world. Uh, the free amino NH2 dimethoxyphenethylamine, which is not an active compound, is in about 20, over 20 cactus species. The monomethyl, which is the one with just one methyl on the far end up there, is in well over 20 cactus species. The dimethyl is known in six. Uh, there are probably many, but at least six have been reported in the literature. Uh, seven, I found one in, in the Pacasiris, so there are seven in which I can find that. Uh, this compound, I think, should be psychoactive. It's got all the goodies and the smells of being psychoactive. Two methoxy groups, well, maybe it'd be better. It's methylene doxy, but why not it? The dimethyl up there, uh, it's many cacti, but it's never been tried in man. That compound's totally unknown in man. And I wonder if with the monamine oxidase inhibitor, it might become morally active in man. But to me, even more, <coughs> more intriguing is the lower compound, which uses that methylene doxy group. Here is something that is unknown in the plant world. It should be there, and it's not there. And I think, as I say, some divine uh, mischief is going on to leave it out. It's simply made, very simply, I've, I've made it, you made two steps, you make the damn thing. Uh, but it's not, it's in, in, not in the plant world, it's almost not in the literature, almost no mention of it in the literature, simply made and totally unexplored. So this is kind of where I want to go. No, 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 where I want to go is the, is the beat. This is how I'm going to get to wherever it is I end, end up getting to the process. Is I want to look at these eight compounds on the previous slide and harmine harmaline as monamine oxidase inhibitors. Not that I particularly want it, but by looking for these, one gets into a very 
Oh, by the way, I, I, I didn't mention, but one of the compounds on the right, the one with the methyl down and the hydrogen out and methylene doxy, I already found is active between 50 and 100 milligrams. So there is activity to be found in these things. Uh, anyway, I want to eventually explore all of these.